Hi guys, welcome to Citizen Mentors. My name is Keetan and very quickly I'm going to give you guys SNAP 2019 analysis. Now, a um, couple of things before we move ahead with the cutoffs is that Indeed paper was a surprise. Uh, if you have seen my video D-Day strategy for SNAP, a day before SNAP, I think it was spot on and all the predictions did come true. Uh, now, as far as verbal is concerned, I think verbal wasn't really a surprise. The only thing that I, I believe that was kind of a surprise was one of the lengthy RC ad. You know, that RC was based on some China and something like that. So yeah, that was one of the surprise uh, that came into picture. On the other hand, what you had uh, in Snap was, uh, even if you look at the words, words were all not that manageable. I had a mixed uh, feedback you know, from students is that somebody said that I think they were doable 50%. Uh, but yeah, when we look at the cutoff overall, I think um, the words were not that easy enough as far as the snap is concerned. So I think verbal was decent enough. Parishable, there was only one question. Uh, overall, verbal was decent, no surprises, it could have been manageable. Uh, looking at one lengthy RC, where you know it actually sucked a lot of time. So I think um, keeping that thing aside, I think it was a, it was just a, you know business as usual as far as you know verbal is concerned. So it wasn't that or a very much higher level. Now moving ahead with logical reasoning, uh, I think logical reasoning was again what uh, Snap used to be. It wasn't a big surprise again as such. So logical reasoning a level was kind of an okay okay on the on you know the way we have Snap level all the time. So V8 man logical reasoning was actually doable, manageable, uh, not on a very exponential level, but additionally it, it would have been doable by all the average or you know above average students. Now the advantage here is that for the fact these guys were good, you know, for the fact these two sections were good, and they have this one and a half marks fundamental. Uh, now there is a good chance that people might score very well, but this is something I will be analyzing at the end of the video anyway. Now the bummer or the bouncer or the bad boy was quants and. Uh, Quant was actually not tough to be very honest. If you see my video, I said that to you guys that you know quant might be lengthy one. So when you talk about quant might be lengthy one, what does it mean? It means more calculation intensive. And indeed quant was that. And quant was a shocker for a lot of people. I think uh, it was a good news for those who were really bad in quants because they could do very well as far as verbal and logic is concerned. Uh, but people who were actually good at quants. Uh, it was kind of disappointing for them because they were not able to get that kind of a speed as far as quants is concerned. But again, a lot of people were not able to manage more than 15 questions on an average if I talk about it. So I believe that's where the hiccup started coming in, you know, as far as quants is concerned. And now, when you look at the overall LOD, the lower uh, the overall L level of difficulty of I think snap as such. So when I compare it with last year, um, I think it's not going to be an apple to apple comparison because anyway, last year the paper was kind of smooth. This year paper was uh, I mean it was with a lot of hiccups in there, right? So I believe that though you had two sections which are doable and manageable wherein people can score because of one and a half marking scheme. However, on the other side, what you had is quants which was damn, I mean I wouldn't say it was damn difficult but yeah definitely there were breaks in there and that is the reason one thing on the easy side, one thing on a tough side, I think it manages very well and that is the reason my prediction for the cutoffs are going to be I believe that cutoff will shoot up a bit, but it's not going to shoot up uh, by you know a big margin. I would say that the cutoff will shoot up by one or two marks. So my uh, prediction, as far as looking at the snap 2019 is concerned, I believe that your SIBM call, uh, let's say 98th percentile, I believe 98th percentile should be around about 73, 74 marks, and at 99th percentile is something around about 9, 78 and 79. Now there might be uh, you know a prediction saying that you know the cutoff will go up um, let's say 85 or 90. I think that's a bit of exaggeration because uh, you know uh, Indian paper was uh, easy enough, but you also need to understand though the paper was kind of easy compared to last year. So looking at quant uh, being on the tougher hands uh, side and you know looking at uh, verbal being a little bit lengthy when people couldn't find that kind of a time management very well. So I don't believe that you know cutoff can go around about let's say 80, 85 or 90. I think that's a bit of exaggeration. The cutoff should range between 73 to 79. Uh, you know, as far as 78 and 90, uh, sorry, as far as 98th and 99th percentile is concerned. Uh, now, let's talk about the other colleges. It's a very simple game. Now, whenever you have these numbers, right, you can definitely minus 3. Do minus 3 in everything and just go down the line. You will be able to get cutoffs for the other colleges, which is SIB, SIB, uh, Bangalore, SMHRD, so and so forth. Because minus 3 will trickle down for all the colleges and that's where you'll get the ballpark number. So I think, I think that's the fair idea as far as the cutoffs are concerned. But again, if you're somebody who's really trying hard to understand SI, OM cutoff versus VA for let's say 
uh, you know, SIMC cutoff for that matter or SITM. I don't really suggest you guys to waste your time in that uh, because uh, it's, it's not really possible to kind of you know gauge their cutoff as of now. Uh, because you know, I think I think let's wait for the report card. But yes, as far as 98, 99 is concerned, uh, we can be close by. As I said, it's a ballpark number that I'm giving you guys now. So that's it from my side as far as snap is concerned.